Tonight, I want to introduce you to a dear friend of mine. Her name is Venetia Frost. Venetia, we have long known each other for how long now? Uh, 15 years. 15 years. I remember when Venetia first started coming to our church and she had, she and Mike, her husband, were newlyweds. Um, we had, we did not know each other extremely well, but through the years we've become better acquainted. And Venetia is an author in her own right. Uh, you have authored how many children's stories? Um, over 200. Over 200 stories. But tonight we're not going to talk about children's stories. We're going to talk about her latest project, which is called 150 Days to Praise. And you don't know how this has changed her life, so I want you to tell us just a little bit about uh, how this purpose or how this, this project came about. Well, um, I had a lot of soul wounds, as I imagine a lot of people you know, can have soul wounds yes. from things in life happening. Um, my, my walk with God was good, but it, was, it wasn't very powerful. There wasn't a whole lot of intimacy with God. Even though I loved Him, I just didn't feel very close. So um, one day in devotion, um, I was sitting and thinking about the book of Psalms, which is my favorite book in the Bible, and the Lord uh, whispered to me 150 days. And then I realized there's, there are 150 Psalms, and so I knew He wanted me to write on the Psalms. Yes. But then He started, started revealing to me as I went through the Psalms that it was about praise, and it was about praising Him using the Word of God. Yes. And so as I did that, I did it for three years in a row. I went through the devotional three years right. in a row because it, every time I went through it, it peeled back more. Another soul wound, yes. another layer of hurt and pain yes. that the Lord wanted to take away. Um, I know I saw the transformation. I know I saw your demeanor change. I know all of a sudden you had joy. I also know that praise is one of the tools that, that the Lord has given us in His Word that we can use, and too often we forget about that tool that He has given us. So tell me, Venetia, what is the purpose of praise in the life of the Christian? Well, God showed me two purposes. The first one is to develop reverence, a deep reverence for Him. Yes. I believe that in society today, reverence has really slipped away, not only from how you treat other people, but especially reverence for God. In the Old Testament, the first three commandments that God talked to the Israelites about dealt with reverence for Him. Yes. So it was a foundation that He laid and that He revealed to me that you, you must have awe and reverence for Him, and why not? He's God, this He's is true. holy, He's mighty, He's righteous, and yet He's love. Okay, so we have, we have the awe, we have the reverence, and that is the, the purpose, but what happens after we get that purpose planted in our lives? We are truly in awe of Him and His presence, everything that He's done for us. We are in awe, we, we reverence Him, we treat Him with holiness because He is a holy God. But is that the only purpose? Is no, there's another purpose that he revealed to me, and that was intimacy. Okay. The deeper you get with a person, the deeper you know them. Yes. And obviously with God, the deeper you get, the more you understand that his character is love and faithfulness and justice, yes. Yes. mercy, all of those things. And the more you soak in his presence, especially when you use the scripture and you praise out the scripture, it heals everything. There's nothing in your heart that God cannot heal. This is this is exactly truth. This is truth. And we all need to remember that, that there's nothing that God can't take care of us. So we is is the only thing once once we've gotten these two principles down of the purpose of praise in our life, what happens then? Then there's power. Power. Okay. The purposes build your faith your trust and your love in God and that's what God wants he wants us to love him and trust him and yes. believe him yes. and we do that through the word and the word builds faith in our heart so as the word comes in I don't know what musical instrument it is but it always reminds me of the one that the you blow in the mouthpiece it goes down which is your heart uh -huh. the word goes into your heart and then it comes out your mouth well, as the word goes into your heart and comes out of your mouth, when it comes out with faith, there's power. Oh, that's a great analogy. That is a great analogy. So that power is music. 
yes. to the Lord's ears. Yes. That power that comes out of our mouth. And so we have the we have the purpose, we have the power. And then what happens next? Well, if it's the word and it's undergirded by faith and love, yes, then there's nothing that Satan can do against it. It it will defeat everything that Satan tries to bring against you. And he has shown me that in my own life. Because in the during the daytime at work when pressure is really tight and really stressful and everybody around me is grumbling and I'm feeling the pressure of what's going on, the atmosphere that Satan is, is disrupting. As yes. I take the word that I put in my heart that morning and I actually out loud speak it and praise God using yes. that scripture everything dissipates the whole everything that satan tried to do just the falls tension apart. the pressure the the negativity it dis dissipates for you everything. does it dissipate for those who are around you too the ones who are really standing close and will receive it yes and they i have i have uh, really seen an amazing difference on my job um, i have favor with managers that did not like me before just because this this is you're seeing two women that are sitting here does not mean that there are, are not men who are also struggling with negativity in their life you may be struggling with with ties that have have held you to the ground things that somebody said to you maybe broken relationships uh, maybe a father figure that wasn't everything he needed to be and this will revolutionize your life 150 days to praise will absolutely rev revolutionize your life and change you in more ways than you can possibly imagine. It's for women, but it's also for men. And it's also for children and teenagers. We speak the word and the Bible tells us that the word of God does not return void. And anything that we speak out it verbally does not return void. It is like it becomes manna to our souls. 150 days to praise. It may take you a while to break those ties through the power of the Holy Spirit, but God is going to change you through these, these psalms and through the praise that we learn about in this devotional. Thank you Thank so you. much, Venetia. Thank you for writing this, for being willing to do what the Holy Spirit laid upon your heart. We will